Today we're going to learn how to animate random characters in Blender with Geometry Nodes. We are going to use letters and numbers, and you're going to learn how to do all these animations. So let's do it. Let's get the camera, the light, go to Geometry Nodes, let's get a new profile, and let's add this. First of all, let's add some text. So let's use a string to curve. Remember, the word a string is like saying text. Now let's get here. And we cannot see anything because we need to fill this box. For example, let's write blend. And now here we can see blend. If you want to center this, select center. And if you want to center in this cross, in the x-axis, then select here, middle. Now, if you want to give a mesh to this, then add fill curve. And now we can see a mesh in this text. Okay. Now, let's start to animate this, but only with one letter at the same time. So, how we do this? To do this, there's a lot of ways, but I'm going to do it with points. So, let's start with a single point. And what I want to do is to convert this to an instance. So, let's add instance on points. So, we are going to use this point, the point that we have before, and we're going to instance these characters. So now, let's label this and use as instance this text. Now this node is using all the characters as instance. So we have seven instances. However, how we can do to show only one? To do this, we need to able here pick instance. And now only pick one instance. Okay, now how we can show the other letters? We have this instance index. This is the number, the index for every letter, every character. So here we can use, for example, index. And if we add here a math node and move this, you will see that we can animate this text. So if you want to do this animation, now you know how to do it. Because what we are doing is changing between the index of every letter. And when it reaches the end, it starts again. So what you can do also if you want is to add integer so we don't have decimals. And with this, you can animate this text. Or if you want, you can add here, for example, a sync time. And now every second we show one letter. If you want to make it faster, then use frames. If you want to slow down, then add here divide. So we divide the velocity. For example, I don't know, something like that. You can make it faster, faster, or slower. So you know how to do this animation. Okay, now let's see the second animation. How we can do to show all these letters, but randomly. To do this is really easy. What we have to do is to use random. So here, let's connect random, random value. And now this is going to show random letters. Look, as you can see. Here, if you want, instead of selecting 100, what you can do is just write the number of letters that we have. So max seven. Actually, it's six because, because the zero is the first letter. So from zero to six, we have seven letters. And now if we move this, we have this animation. If you want, you can add this more and it's the same. So to animate this, let's do the same. Let's connect this here. And now we have this animation. I'm going to make it faster. A bit faster and we have this really cool animation. Okay, but now, how we can do this, but only showing the letters in the same position? Here. Instead of here, 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 here. To do this, what we have to do is to move the position of the letters in the same position. So, how we do that? To do this, what we're going to do is to use set position. Set position. And here in position, we need to connect pivot point. So let's connect pivot point 
to position and now you will see that all the letters are in the same position thanks to this connection. If you want to know how to avoid this movement that is aligned in the left, as you can see, I found the solution in this tutorial that I found in the channel of Ilir Bekiri. So thank you to share this knowledge. So the solution is to add here a vector math and select a scale. And now if we scale this, you will see that we can move the position of the letters. So if you say more or less minus one, now it's more or less center. And here I recommend you to select pivot point, midpoint. So now it's perfectly in the center. And this is how to have random letters showing in one position, in one point. Obviously, if you want to change the text, in any time here you can change the text. For example, I'm going to write different letters. I just add all the alphabet, and now if I press play, we can see all these letters. Remember, if you add more letters, here you have to increase this, because now it's only showing the first seven characters. So if I want to show all the alphabet, I need to increase the number. For example, I think it's 23 to show all the letters. And if you're not sure, just increase this. And if you want to change the font, for example, just go here and select any font that you want. For example, I'm going to use Arial Black. Now, before we continue with the random letters in the same position, I want to show you more tips. So, for example, what we can do, instead of using one single point, we can use, for example, a curved line and connect it here. So now we have two letters. Why? Because remember, a single line has two points, this one and this one. So now it's showing one letter in every point. Okay. However, I don't want this position. So I'm going to select zero and select, for example, here, minus three. And here, positive 3. I'm going to set this view and disable this so it's cleaner. Now, if you want to show more letters here, then we need to add more points. Remember, using resample curve. So now we can show more letters because every letter is a point in this line. And now we have in total 10 characters, 10 letters. So now, if I press spacebar, we have these random letters in one word. More things. If you want to show all the time the same letter, now we can disable this and just use a math node. And remember, the value that you select is the number of the letter. This only works if we don't connect index. So now here, we can change which letter we want, and only show all the time the same letter, the same character. Now, if you want to show in order, then remember, we need to connect index. And now it's in order because it's using the index information. And now it's interesting part. If we move this, look, it's pushing the letters in this direction. So we can use this, animate it again, and we have this animation that is going like a LED panel. You know these panels in the train stations where we can see the next train, etc. So we can create sentence. For example, I'm going to write here a sentence. You can open this to see better the box and write something. And now I write this sentence, as you can see here. And if I press spacebar, we have this sentence. And look at this. You can add empty spaces as instance. So remember this trick.
And here, remember, we can make it faster or slower. Okay, now you know how to animate sentence. And now let's come back to animate random characters in the same position, but using other geometries. So I'm going to disable this and connect again this here and connect this here. So I'm going to take this and this. And now what I'm going to do is not to use a line. So let's call this sentence. And I'm going to leave it here. Now what you can do is to use, for example, a grid. And you will see that this is really cool. So let's connect here. And now look at this. The way now I'm going to use numbers. Remember, you can use letters, numbers, whatever you can type here. So I'm going to delete this and add the 10 numbers. Now I have numbers and we have random numbers in a grid. And the best part, remember, a grid have now, where is the grid? Here, three by three. So we have in total nine points. That means that we have nine numbers at the same time. But if you want more numbers, then we need to add more vertices. What you can do is, for example, to increase the size and now add more vertices. So we have more numbers. Or you can increase it in only, for example, one axis, this one, and then increase the vertices in this axis. So look how easy it is to make a lot of numbers random. Let's increase it more, something like that, and increase more and more. You can play with a number of columns and rows. We have all these numbers randomly showing in the screen. And if you want to slow down this, you can move this or you can make it faster. By the way, I'm going to select the material view so we can see better. So this is how to animate random numbers with a grid. And what also you can do is to use any geometry, because if we use any geometry to instance on points, that means that in the points of the geometry, we will have numbers. And I'm going to show you something really cool. For example, let's use a UV sphere. Let's connect it here, and let's check how it looks like. Now we cannot see anything, because all the numbers are really close. So you can do two things. To change the size of the numbers here, so we can make it smaller, or what you can do is just increase the radius of the sphere. And look how cool we achieve this animation. You can play here with the number of rings and segments. And you can use other objects, for example, Icosphere. Let's check how it looks like. Here we have an Icosphere. I'm going to make it bigger. And let's add more subdivisions. So we have this really cool effect. And if you want to align the numbers in the normal of the object, so the lines that are perpendicular to the faces, then what we have to do is really easy, is to select rotation and select align everywhere to vector and use the normal and select Z. And now we have this really cool effect. And that's for your full of numbers. Let's check how it looks like with the UV sphere.
Let's add more rings, for example, and more segments. I don't know why I prefer Dicosphere, because here they are really close. So, in my opinion, I prefer to use Dicosphere to create this effect. Because they have more or less the same space between each number. So, it's more harmonic. And before we finish, I want to show you another cool trick if you want to make with this animation of the icosphere the numbers more visible. So the simple trick is to use backface cooling. With the view of the viewport, if we select here backface cooling, that what does is to hide the backface of every number. That's why now we don't see the numbers of the background. So you can move this and we have this effect. If you don't know what is backface cooling, I recommend you to see this tutorial. However, if we able here, it's not going to render like that. Because if we go to render, we can see the numbers. By the way, I'm going to improve this, making this darker and go to material. Let's add a material here, set material and select this material. And let's go to emission and add one value. So as you can see, now we are not hiding the numbers of behind in the render view. So to do the backface curling effect in the render, then what you have to do, let's go to shade editor, is to press N and go to options and enable this feature. Backface curling here. And now it will appear in the render. So you can move this, that always will have this beautiful effect like in a sphere of random numbers animated. So I hope you learned something new. I show you a lot of animations, so now is your turn to practice and see what you can achieve. And if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.